hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of aluminium alloys so basically uh, these aluminium alloys are classified uh, based on uh, two condition uh, first one is cast condition second one is rod condition so this cast condition uh, is uh, 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 is basically described by a three digit system here you can say uh, three digit system means one xx and then we have the uh, and then it is followed by uh, this decimal dot x so this uh, dot x uh, actually uh, that suggests about the uh, ingot uh, this uh, composition uh, during this casting process and this rot aluminium alloys these are uh, uh, this uh, described as a four a digit system so the uh, the uh, so the difference between the both uh, uh, this uh, cast and rot is that in cast we have a three digit system followed by a decimal while in rod uh, this one in this rod aluminium alloys it is uh, described in a four digit system so now uh, let's start for this uh, uh, this uh, cast system so this one double x dot x uh, is basically about pure aluminium pure aluminium and for this two double x dot x uh, in this aluminium plus the main alloying element is copper so the principal alloying element is copper here while in case of three double x dot x in this case aluminium plus silicon is the principal alloying element by other alloying elements such as copper and magnesium but the principal alloying element is a silicon here in case of four double x dot x in this case uh, the aluminium is aligned with only silicon so here we have only one alloying element that is a silicon here in case of five double x dot x uh, in this case aluminium is aligned with the principal alloying element magnesium while in case of six double x dot x uh, this is basically uh, uh, this unused aluminium alloys but in case of uh, rot uh, this we have some alloying element that we will discuss in this rot aluminium alloys so this we can term as unused aluminium alloys while in case of seven double x dot x the aluminium is allied with the principal alloying element here zinc zinc is the principal alloying element but we have other alloying element also like copper and magnesium now come to the eight double x dot x here aluminium along with the principal alloying element that is tin while nine double x dot x it is unused aluminium alloys so if we can uh, this uh, repeat it for this uh, cast aluminium alloys so basically for first one a uh, one double x dot x that is pure aluminium in two double x dot x that is aluminium plus copper so copper is the principal alloying element in in both a three double x and four double x dot x a silicon is the principal alloying element but in case of three double x dot x we have copper and magnesium also as the other alloying element while in case of a uh, five double x dot x a magnesium is the principal alloying element a six double x dot x and nine double x dot x is unused in case of seven double x dot x a zinc is the principal alloying element while in case of eight double x dot x tin is the major alloying element now we will come to the rot aluminium alloys so this rot aluminium alloys is described in four digit system as one triple x two two triple x a three triple x this like that so a one triple x is again it is pure aluminium now come to the two triple x so in which 2x x x in which aluminium along with the principal alloying element which is copper but we have some other alloying element also like magnesium but the principal alloying element is copper now come to the three uh, triple x in this aluminium is along with the manganese as the principal alloying element now we'll come to the four triple x in which aluminium is along with the silicon so silicon is the principal alloying element now come to the five triple x in which aluminium is along with the magnesium so magnesium is the principal alloying element now come to the six triple x uh, in this aluminium is along with the 
magnesium as the major alloying element but we have silicon also so the difference between 5 triple x and 6 triple x in 5 triple x you have only a magnesium but in 6 triple x you have uh, this magnesium as the principal alloying element but silicon is also act as a principal alloying element so both magnesium and silicon act as a principal alloying element here uh, 7 triple x in which zinc is the principal uh, this alloying element but apart from that we have copper magnesium chromium and zirconium so these are also added as the other alloying element in case of 8 triple x we have aluminium plus uh, tin also we can uh, add uh, lithium so these are the uh, comes in 8 triple x and in 9 triple x it's not uh, i mean uh, not uh, defined yet but in a future uh, they will uh, define this this 9 triple x also so we can see uh, that this aluminium alloy is classified into two parts one is cast another one is wrought so basically the difference between the cast and wrought is that in wrought you can say that uh, that uh, this alloys are uh, this cold work or hard work basically some kind of forging extrusion or or uh, this uh, this rolling so these kind of things has been done in this particular alloy so that is a, the difference between cost and rot so this is the classification of aluminium alloys so if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video